Over the past few months, millions of people have been helping their communities to combat COVID-19 in lots of ways, like social distancing, staying at home, making bread, kicking footballs, avoiding online fitness nonsense, and drinking booze. Fair play, but many others have decided to do even more and are delivering essentials to those in need. So I'm going to take you through some good news, all thanks to people who play the lottery, people like me. I'm Joe Suzanne Wilkinson and this is the National Lottery's Good News Bulletin. So let's head to a village charity in South London where people have been putting big smiles on little faces and not so little faces by delivering essential items to parents and teachers across South London. Little Village is like a food bank, but for baby clothes and toys and equipment. Uh, we support uh, families with children up to the age of five. And um, our ambition is to be a source of support for as many families as possible. A huge rise in demand for clothes, toys, bedding, nappies and toiletries during the pandemic has meant that without the additional COVID-19 funding the charity received, many families would struggle to survive. We would not be here without the National Lottery funding. It's as simple as that. Team Jack Foundation has been set up to offer emotional, social and practical support to children and young people with cancer from all over Scotland. So, Team Jack Foundation was founded about five and a half years ago now by my 15 year old son Jack before he died sadly of a rare lymphoma. Um, Jack felt that whilst the, the care that he had in hospital was outstanding, the medical care, that there was no support for emotional and social needs for families and young people. So Team Jack provides practical social and emotional support for children and young people with cancer and related illnesses. Even COVID-19 can't stop Team Jack on their mission to help. The team have taken their face-to-face -face creative activities and support sessions online and on mobile instead. And finally, in Belfast, where one man has taken his fight to keep fighting online with a series of stage combat classes. The COVID impact on the arts is, I can't, I can't even really describe the extent um, of, of how it's impacted us because we're having to reinvent what we do and keep people interested. Soon as the isolation began, I knew I wanted to do something um, but it just meant that people could keep that training going and keep keep the the kind of regularity of classes alive. The emergency grant means that Ian can extend his class, research alternative methods of training and create resource materials for students. Personally, I'd like a course of an hour run away better, but you know, that's just me. That's it for this week. Nominations are now open for the National Lottery Awards, so if you know a legend like one of the ones featured today, why don't you vote for them here? Right, I'll be back next week for some more good news from the National Lottery, so I'll see you then. Might just hang about here. What's everyone doing later?